Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to gain access to an admin console into this router, D-Link DSR250. All right, but before we go ahead and do that, I want, I want to make sure that the router is already reset back to factory settings. So hoping that we have the same page understanding on how to gain access to the, uh, to the router. All right, for those of you who do not know how to reset the, uh, the D-Link router, what you want to do is get yourself a paper clip or a pen, uh, making sure that you press the reset button here, press and hold that little tiny button for about 15 to 20 seconds. All right, so right now you can see that the power light is green. And when you press and hold that reset button, keep pressing and holding until that power light turns orange flashing orange that's when you can remove the reset um, button and let the router do its own reboot all right so this router is already reset back to factory settings and let's go ahead and plug in the uh, internet port i'm going to plug plug it into port one or any port is fine between one to eight so let's just go with one plug it in and the end of this cable goes into my desktop all right, so you can see that both of the lights are flashing and we have power and connection. Let's go ahead and switch the screen to uh, my other monitor here. Wait a second, okay. So let's go ahead and switch screen. Now here you can see that the, um, the Firefox is open, the browser, but before I do that, I want to double check, making sure that we all in the same page, at least kind of give you an idea so what I like to do is to go ahead and open up the control panel. So I have this control panel here. So when you open up control panel, uh, the next step is to click on network and internet and followed by network and sharing center. Here you can see I have two ethernet port. This is the first one here and then the ethernet on the second one at the bottom. So my computer desktop have two ports on it. Uh, first and second but for your computer you might only have one okay so either way you want to click on the one that is connected to this uh, LAN one the port one the dealing router okay so let's click on that once you click on it you should be able to see this little pop-up that says the status on the internet port the next step is to click on details when you click on details if you reset the router back to factory settings you should be getting this 192.168.10.100. So the .100 is referring to your computer. And then the 192.168.10.1, uh, the .1 is referring to the router. Okay, so if you have, if you're so far following along with this and getting the same IP address like, like I do, that means the router is already reset, uh, you're in the right page. All right, so let's go ahead and open up your Firefox browser. Uh, this is the Firefox browser here and what I like to do is to go ahead and type in that 192.168.10.1 and hit enter and when I press enter I can't get into the admin console or I can't get into the D-Link um, router login screen so what I'm getting right now is just saying that the SSL error unsupported version and I have this TSL 1.2 protocol what can I do? All right, so here's the solution to fix. You want to open up a second tab. And what you want to do here under that search box right on the top here, what you want to do is you want to type in um, about two dots config. Oh, wrong spelling. A B O U T config. And you press enter. And at this screen here, you're gonna see accept the risk and continue. Okay, I want to do that. And under that search preference name, this very top bar here, what you want to type is security. Security dot TLS dot version dot MIN minimum. Okay, when you type that, you can see that this thing is showing three. That is the current, um, uh, whatever number, what, um, 
the content of it it says three so you want to change that into one so click on this little pencil here so go ahead and click on this pencil okay so instead of three you want to change it to one and then click that little checkbox to agree that you want to change it to one okay so once you have done with that you can close this okay and then go ahead and refresh the um, the IP address 192.168.10.1 once you refresh you should see this potential warning security ahead you want to click on advance and here you want to say accept risk and continue once you have accept risk and continue now you can log in to your dealing router and the default password the username is admin and the password is admin 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 that's what you want to do okay once you log in i want you to double check the firmware as you can see on the top right corner here the firmware is 3.12 ww stands for worldwide so 3.12 is actually the old version of it uh, that is why we have this problem logging into the uh, admin console with using the IP address 192.168.10.1 so what you want to do is you want to open up a D-Link um, let me see if I can do it here on the other side here uh, DSR250 firmware mm, let me just bring it okay so we have it here I'm going to copy this I'm going to bring it to the second screen here and I'm going to paste it paste and go so what you want to do is pretty much go ahead and look up for D-Link. Uh, what I type on a Google, I just type in D-Link uh, DSR250 firmware. And once you type in that, you're going to see this thing. And you want to select um, the model of your router. So how do you know what model this is? If you look at the back of your stuff, you can see that hardware version. My one, oh, hope you focus what does it say hardware version a4 okay so that is my hardware version a4 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select here and say a4 is my version and here you can see that the firmware 3.17 uh, is the latest that is back in July 28 2020 so you want to click on download and that way it would download the version for your um, the firmware once you download it unzip that you can go back to the router and update the firmware so let's go ahead and do that since we downloaded already I just want to make sure that uh, I have the right screen here to share with you so I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to um, open up this file so let me make another new folder okay all right so I have here um, the screen that I just downloaded right so this is the one that we downloaded the firmware right click on it um, and then extract all okay and then just click on extract when you click on extract it would extract the zip folder in that folder that is extracted the firmware is 3.17 ww that's what it is okay so what you want to do is go to the router and then you want to go to maintenance go to firmware upgrade and you want to click on browse and in browse what you want to do is you want to be able to browse the right folder so let me go to the right one um, so we'll be browsing the one that we just unzip which is 3.17 and click on this firmware that says ww at the end of it and click open all right and then click upgrade and then click ok All right, so you just gotta wait for the dealing router to do its own upgrade I'm not sure if you can see the light there should have been some kind of traffic going in and out so the light should be flashing um, and also the power light should stays on 
So just gonna wait until the firmware being pushed through and upgrade this D-Link router. Once the thing is upgraded, okay, so you can see that the light should be flashing. And once the thing is upgraded, then, um, then it's pretty much that you do not have to do that browser for the config and to change it so i think we should change it back right after we are done with that uh, to increase the firefox browsing tier uh, security back to number three all right so that's pretty much it uh, i don't think you need to wait for that firmware to be updated usually it takes about uh, five minutes or so and once it's done it's done you just have to um, close the browser and restart the router and you should have the latest firmware at 3.17 all right i hope this video is helpful and if you do find this video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for doing that in exchange of me sharing my knowledge to you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe i really appreciate you for subscribing as well and for those of you who are really want to show the generosity and show appreciation to support my work and my channel uh, please go ahead and click on the youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to um, donate money and help me to grow all right until now thanks for watching and i'll see you again bye